Hello, I have um, another handbag here to show you. And um, this is different from um, the normal bags that I would um, feature. And um, this is actually um, a Cambridge um, Satchel Company um, handbag. Well, I think uh, they call it Batchel. I've always wanted to get one of these when the, they first came out because at some point um, it became a fad and I've um, seen a lot of um, replicas or um, Cambridge in style or inspired um, style of handbags, but um, I never um, actually bought one for myself, but this one, um, I was perusing uh, from this consignment shop earlier and um, since I've never owned one, I didn't know um, uh, where to look for the, the logo. I mean, I mean the logo and uh, I had to um, check online uh, <laughs> to find out if it's authentic or not. But of course, by the looks of it, when I first picked it up, I didn't see any logo, of course, or any anything because uh, I... I'm not aware where um, they are placed at. So I picked it up because when I smelled it, the smell is uh, a leather smell and it's um, gorgeous. And um, I just love um, the smell of leather handbags, especially when you, you first uh, buy them. And I know that this is um, in mint condition, uh, like unused, unused uh, merchandise, I would say that. So I picked it up. And uh, so here it is. And I did my research after that because um, uh, I know that even if this, let's say this was not a real one, I said it's still, you know, in good taste or done in good taste or um, it's really, really um, uh, an authentic leather. So I didn't care about that. But after thorough investigation and things like that, uh, um, I've come to realize that this is an authentic Cambridge satchel. Cambridge satchels are not that expensive. However, they are um, very much replicated according to, um, you know, uh, the Google site. So, okay. So I think this is what they call a batchel, which is a combination of a satchel and a briefcase. So here it is. It has a handle. I think I'll be pre pretty much using the handle itself and then just remove this. Because honestly, I am not a crossbody bag um, kind of girl. <laughs> I, I, w I once w uh, said to myself that I would be caught dead, you know, um, using a crossbody bag. It's just so masculine for me. But um, I tried using that with my, I tried using a crossbody bag, uh, my big um, Louis Vuitton um, ideal allergy, and it didn't work for me. I had to remove the um the strap and just um use the shoulder bag okay so here it is and um this is uh, the batchel as they say and it's really really a very stiff leather it's so stiff i i've seen some um plastic ones or gel it's like gelatin or plastic type of material before on, T in, on TJ Maxx but of course it wasn't a Cambridge satchel okay so um uh so there you go it has uh, two studs over here there are not a lot on the internet though um because when you type in Cambridge satchels uh, most of them don't come with um with the uh, um, a handle a top handle okay and I had to open this because um, it would be difficult for me so um, so let me see it smells so leathery and I just love it and I think this has never been used because the 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 leather smell is overpowering it's like when you open your first Louis Vuitton and um the vachette that just smells so good that's how it is and this is the this is the uh interior of um the bag it's really really stiff they said that to find 
uh, to check if your Cambridge satchel is authentic is you have to check the flap over here and it should not bend it should be very very stiff and that's what it is it's so it's very very stiff but I'm just wondering why some of the stitches the stitches are not that perfect I mean and I've looked at other items online and uh, neither are they so um, it, it's just that some stitches or is big I I think it's really like that okay and there are two studs there so and it has to be one long this they use one um, kind of leather I mean one piece of leather so there has to be um, there shouldn't be any stitchings in the back it has to be one long um, leather and this is what it is and I just love the um, the um, pocket first and um yeah i can and this one you can probably put something in here i don't know but i just love the sturdy look and um here it is this is the this is the um a detachable thing and they said that um i'm just looking at it right now there has to be two lines on both on both sides on the zipper something like that yeah and I see that I think this is what they're talking about two lines on both sides I think it's not a stitch but it's it's like a, an embossed line something like that and there has to be a line here line here well anyway this one is un undoubtedly um, an original satchel because of everything and um, it's very very thick oh i just put it in here it's my son's uh, captain underpants and um okay so there you go it's just one it looks like the back back of the plywood unit <laughs> this or a cork <laughs> and it has never been used i mean i didn't have to do you know anything here i just wiped it with uh baby wipes and you cannot see any trace traces of use other than of course it was in the store so there's just a bit of mark here i'll prop i'll get rid of that um i think i'll just use magic eraser and okay so here it is here's the logo you can hardly see it it says, uh, oh, there's a smudge there. Okay, it says the Cambridge um, Satchel Company. And underneath that is the bicycle, bicycle logo. So there you go. Uh, some of these um, stitches are not, this is like a double on that side. And the others are a single. So, um, so yeah. I think I'll just um, chop it off uh, those um, lines or those protruding um, extra thread. So, and it's like my coach bags, my vintage coach bags, the lines or the sides are like this. It's, it's, ve it's a very raw leather. They call it bovine leather. Okay, so here it is. So I think this is like a, mo a mono block. Or, or or by color, they said that only the bachelors have by color. They uh, have two colors, so um, yeah. I haven't used this one, but I think um, this bag and I will get along pretty well because <laughs> I'll, I'll be using it as a as a um, top handle bag, and. Um, uh, I don't know why um, I'm not into my shoulders hurt a lot even when I use my Balenciaga classic city bag and that's the lightest leather you could ever imagine because it's a lambskin and it has a very thin and wide uh, shoulder uh, straps and of course it's lambskin but still you know it it's it still um, it, it still hurts so I don't know my, my, my shoulders are very very sensitive so um, so there you go so um this is 11 no this is like 13 i think 12 or 13 inches and i think this is um they call it a man bag as well or a computer bag i think the computer bag is 15 inches so um 
Okay, so I love this. All right, I'll be rocking this. Okay, bye.